Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of the Veterans Ranch Show right here on the Disability Channel. The Veterans Ranch, corporately based for all y'all that don't know, uh, here in Lakeland, Florida, and we travel the state of Florida and the great state of Texas, working with veterans and their families, uh, fighting the effects of PTS, as well as helping to bring down and eventually end the daily veteran suicide number. We've all seen we're at 44 veteran suicides a day. Folks, one is too many. We need to get that number down to zero. We simply start by you know, having a great conversation with that veteran, putting a grooming brush in their hand, and really just get them to start working a rhythmic motion of building a bond of trust with an animal that's inherently born not to trust anybody with the inevitable goal of getting them to lay down heavy coats of burden and walk off a new and improved version of themselves. Um, again, thank you to everyone for being here. We have an absolutely amazing guest today. Uh, we're just going to get uh, take a, a quick break right here, and then we are going to bring in Christine Dean, the DFW Networking Diva. We'll be right back. All about inclusion and really giving everyone a, a fair say. Welcome to the Today Show. This is our flagship show. I am Unstoppable Tracy. I am Zach Damon. It is a pleasure to be here. I am excited. What is up? We have a great show today. Jay Stoyan here for the Disability Channel, the world's only inclusive channel for and by persons with disabilities. Get ready to be inspired, everyone. We have people watching from all over the world, but also all over Ontario. We also take a concerted attention in the veterans community. In moments of stress and trauma, we can get a hold of ourselves. To help make a difference for people with disabilities, to show people how to love themselves or their disability. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me, giving this platform for myself and other people with disabilities. Thank you so much, folks, for joining us for this episode of the Disability Channel of Detroit. Please tune in next time. And here we are. We have uh, back with us again. Thank you for being back on another great episode of the Veterans Ranch Show. We have Christine Dean here with us. Uh, been working with Christine for over a couple of years now. An absolutely amazing person to deal with. A heart bigger than this screen. Uh, true passionate patriot. Brings a wealth of knowledge and experience to everything she does. Christine is a former mill spouse. She's going to talk about that. And she is also currently a Blue Star mom. So again, needless to say, she understands a lot about military life in general from uh, really both sides of the coin. So without further ado, let's bring her in here. Christine, welcome to the Veterans Ranch Show. Thank you, JR. I always enjoy spending time with you. <laughs> we, tend to, we tend to spend a lot together. We kiddingly, you know, well, we won't talk about that joke, but... <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, tell us more. I mean, I know I, I tried to give a resounding introduction there for you, but why don't you tell you us uh, more? Do. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, tell us, tell us more about, you know, who you are and, and uh, just kind of what's brought you to this point. Oh, goodness. That's a really long story. How much time do we have? <laughs> so, uh, JR, I mean, do you want me to start from the beginning? When I was born, <laughs> we don't right. want to go back that When far. I was wee high to the guys, <laughs> Hoppa. Yes. <laughs> no, let's let's kind of talk about you know let's let's really kind of get into yourself your your mill spouse right how you how you yeah. got into being involved with the military and and uh, you know let's just kind of move forward let's say past high school and let's move forward. <laughs> 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 well, I'm glad to see we survived high school, right? Yeah, for me, I know. Um, gosh, um, when I was married, um, and my husband was in the Navy, and so. 
way back when, brush the dust off there. Yeah, mill spouse thing, right? Um, but I was familiar with the military already. My grandfather was, um, well, we can't say was. You never say former Marine. They're always a Marine. But um, God rest his soul, he passed away. And I miss him. But, you know, he was a Marine. And I have to tell you, the family patriotism, you got to understand, you know, even when he was getting older and he couldn't remember anything and, and he was having problems and, and trying to remember things, you know, he'd be in his... 80s and and he still had his his hat on right his military veteran hat on right for the the marines so you always knew that he was a marine and he'd be in the hospital and he'd say christine i need to get me out of here go get my m1 get me my tennis shoes we're out of (laughs) here so from way back when i i always remember him being really proud of of being a marine and and that was a huge part of his younger life and so that patriotism just kind of continued throughout my life so when i married my first husband and uh he was in the navy i was like oh okay that makes sense it, it, you know i want to be supportive um we did the the moving multiple locations um every time you move you don't know anybody uh, you kind of have to make new friends wherever you go and um, we were lucky we didn't go anywhere really far at one point i thought we were going to end up overseas in guam but that didn't happen i was kind of grateful we were stateside but now thinking back on it you know a little extra excitement might not have been a bad thing um but when I got pregnant with my oldest son, um, he was out to sea, and I couldn't just tell him. So the struggles of a, you know, Blue Star, um, you know, as my son's in now. I, so just the military lifestyle has been an ongoing thing for me. Um, I remember I had to, I couldn't call him and tell him, hey, guess what? We're pregnant, right? I had to actually send him a little baby bottle, and inside I wrote the word June. And I mailed that to him. And all of a sudden I get this really scratchy, you know, ship to shore. Phone goes, right. And they're coming through. Is it true? Are we having a baby? Yes, we are. Right. Um, so it, it's interesting, the challenges as opposed to now. Right. My son's active duty Air Force and, you know, he might be in one of those sandy places, but he can still FaceTime me. You know, what a different lifestyle it's changed into um, with the access with the military. But I've always been just a passionate patriot. It's It's been a, a part of my life for as long as I can remember. And so when my son had said, Mom, I want to join the service, I was like, heck, yeah, go for it, baby. You know, I was telling him, do everything while you're um, young and dumb. And I'm like, see the world. Go everywhere. Do it now before you're married and have kids and just go have a blast and, you know, great experience. You learn so much. So yeah, he's having a lot of fun in the Air Force. And, and then my, my good friend said, hey, you know, um, we've got this DFW Veterans Chamber of Commerce. And I said, what? And she's like, I need you to help. I'm like, okay. Next thing you know, I'm on board with that. I'm on the board of directors there. Um, having a great time playing in the veteran space. It's so wonderful to be able to continue to give back to that community. And then I stumble into JR. I'm a big guy to stumble into, right? Six four two sixty. I'm a big guy to stumble into. Let's let's do this. We're going to do it a little early, but I got some more stuff I want to cover. Let's let's do a quick commercial break, and then we'll we'll get in into uh, uh, the chamber and uh, a little bit led you up to that point, uh, folks. Today we want to talk about Infone. Infone is the business tool pad. Uh, that is such an awesome thing to have to stay connected with everyone. It is your digital business card that allows you to share so much more than what you can put on a card, right? You get somebody's business card and it's got 10,000 things, looks like ants crawling across the back of it. You're not hanging on to that card. You want something that is memorable. You need to reach out to our friends at Enphone. Folks, we use it. Here it is right here. So reach out to my buddy, Steve Ramona, today at infone.co forward slash sr1 that is infone.co forward slash sr1 reach out to steve today for more info you won't regret it and we'll be right back
We are back. It is another great episode. We are having a blast here today at the Veterans Ranch Show. Thank you again, Christine, for coming on today. So, so you know, we've already talked a little bit about, you know, family, uh, you know, you know, going back so far in the service. I mean, my wife's the same way. She, somebody in her family traced military service all the way back to George Washington. So, you know, when we always say it goes so deep in our family, both sides, you know, it's, it's really, really true. Oh, that's so, not fair now, JR, you win, because you can go all the way back that far. We can only go back, and we've got discharge papers to the Civil War. So, Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, that's hurt me. I, you know, I stop at World War II, as far as I know, with my grandfather, um, her family. Yeah, I'm sure we had some somewhere, but, you know, it, it went back way deep in her family. So, okay, so, you know, let's, let's start here, right? You, you, you've mill spouse now you got kids now you're in texas but you know like everybody looks at me and says well jr you got to be from texas no i'm working on getting there as fast as i can (laughs) but originally from st louis missouri now living in lakeland florida and then working trying to work my way back west to the great state of texas but you're not from texas are you no i'm not i'm not from texas at all i'm from california um moved to texas i want to say about five years ago and i love it i really wish i'd raised my boys here the culture here is just fantastic family friendly veteran friendly i mean it, it's a win in every direction as far as i'm concerned so yeah got here as fast as i could <laughs> yeah yeah I'm, I'm taking i'm taking longer i'll be 50 here at the end of the year so i'm i'm working my way there but i i am working mm, on getting there to the dark side <laughs> yes <laughs> we're working, we're working and getting there. So, but in in California though, I read some stuff um, that you used to actually do some teaching. What what did you teach? And I know I had a life outside veterans. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I did. I I got my degree in communications. I taught college. I coached the speech and debate team. So communications has kind of been a thing for a long time. And I have to say, it's one of the most versatile degrees ever. And I want to meet somebody who doesn't communicate, right? I mean... (laughs) It's kind of a standard, right? So whether it's writing, speaking, and the marketing side, I think I built my first website back in like 1990. So now I'm really dating myself. But, I've, you know, communication has always been um, something I've involved in everything that I've done. And, and so when I was teaching, I was teaching the uh, communication courses. So part of that involved intercultural communication, interpersonal communication, um, relationship communication, you name it, we hit it. Right. And the business communication side. So it's been a a nice, strong background to take me forward in whatever career choice I wanted to go with. And now I just have a blast with it. I I do so many different things in communication. I don't even know where to start. (laughs) So true, folks. I'm telling you, you can find Christine just about anywhere. I thought I was like Mr. Talk to everybody, flap my gums, be on every social media platform known to man. Christine definitely gives me a run for my money on the daily. Um, you know, it, she'd be like, hey, have you met this person? Have you met this person, this person? I'm like, okay, look, I understand, you know, the good Lord gives us 24 hours in every day, but do you sleep? You know? <laughs> well, you know, it's questionable. Yeah, it, and that's really the whole business, right? My business is DFW Networking Diva. And the whole idea was I love connecting people, right? And it's all using the communication skills. So between connecting, marketing, helping small businesses with the growing their business, I mean, I love what I do. You know, like, hey, let's produce a podcast. Okay. You know, whatever it is. Oh, I need a website. Okay. I, what, I'm what? i just having a blast. And I get to work with the most awesome people. And JR, <laughs> it doesn't get any more awesome than this, right? I, but that's what I'm all about, right? I love mission-driven people, mission-driven organizations, mission-driven businesses. And when I say mission, I doesn't necessarily mean faith-based, right? But you have a goal, you have a mission, you want to do good in the world. You give me a, a do-gooder and I'm all over it. I'm like, where can I sign up? How can I help? What can I do? Can I give you some free advice? You know, if you can't afford me, I understand. Here's some free advice. Run with it. Go, you know? But I'm well, all about helping. That's that's just the thing, folks. Let me let me verify that, okay? I mean, if if Christine can offer you some help, she'll do it. So much in this world, you know, people are worried about the with them, okay? The what's in it for me, and you know, Christine brings a true passion to what she does. Um, you know, she's very passionate about veteran and military life things mm-hmm. across the board, and yeah, if she can, you know, that old nickel's worth of advice phrase. 
just giving you a couple of bucks and I'm being, you know, on the low end, right? On on the advice he can give you and run with. And it's not going to be half-ass advice where, you know, here's just a little bit of stuff and you got to come back and pay me to get the rest of the story, right? No, it should, sure, we all, hey, cash runs the world. But if Christine can give you some advice that'll get you that next level uh, where maybe you can't hire her today, but that next level can let you hire her, she's going to do it because she's helping improve your business to where you can come back and she can help you improve it more. Am I right there? Yeah. And that's really what it's about, right? Being able to help each other. We weren't meant to walk this earth alone. So if we can work together and, you know, the tide rises all. So the idea is for us to all work together and help one another. And seriously, I've sat down, I'm like, okay, are you ready? You know, it's kind of like, uh, talking to me is kind of like drinking out of a fire hose, you know, so I just have so much information. People are like, can you write that down? I'm like, nope, that's going to cost you money. But if you want to talk to me, that's fine. I had somebody that had written notes on for an hour meeting, like little tiny, tiny words, like four pages of front, back, front, back. I was like, wow, did I share that much with you? I was like, yes. <laughs> you know, you take those notes and keep on going. I want to see people succeed. And a lot of times when we we're spreading good in the world and we're out sharing things and offering advice and free advice and whatever it is, we don't always know what goes on after they leave us, right? Sometimes we get lucky and they'll reach out and be like, hey, I just wanted to say thank you. I did this, this, and this that you suggested and I'm doing fantastic this way. I love when I get to hear that kind of stuff. We don't always get to know what's happening. Um, kind of like with the teaching days when the students would come back and go, Ms. D, guess what? I did, I'm like, yes, good job, right? We don't always know the ripple effect that we have out there when we do good. So it's nice to be able to hear it once in a while and be able to stick around long enough to see what's going on. And that's what it's about when getting involved in all the nonprofits in the veterans community. It's about building that legacy so that we can continue to pay forward and we've built something that the next generation continue to build and keep helping our veteran community. And I'm so passionate about that. Yeah, you know, I work a lot with the small business owners. I work a lot with nonprofits and in the veteran space just has a special place in my heart. It always has. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, I, I can verify 10,000%. You know, if it has, it, she will have 5 million things to do for the day. If it's something she believes in and knows you believe in at 10,000%, mm -hmm. she'll find like 50,000 in one spot, you know, especially in the, in the veteran space. Uh, can't tell you how many times, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night, you know, we're just looking for another cup of coffee or a Red Bull or something. We're like, we got to get this done. So, right. It's, it's, a, it's a labor of love. And, and when you've got yeah. a, a gift, right, you need to share it. You need to share that gift with other people. And I know, JR, you're a fantastic connector yourself. So, you know, always out there looking for opportunities to help our veteran community. And it's one of the qualities that I admire about working with you. And because you're so passionate, it feeds into my passion on it. And together, you know, there's times that we were working, like when we were building the website. Right. There are times I'm like, all right, I need a little bit more here. I need a little bit more there. Okay. What's your opinion on this? Right. And we're just collaborating on that to try and get the best thing that we can to reflect the, the veterans ranch. And when we, people come to visit, we want to know that, yeah, we mean business, you know, we are really about yeah. helping the veterans and, and that's what it's all about. Well, it's, it truly is. I mean, it, you know, you hear us here on the show preaching all the time, but it really is a giver's gain mentality. Um, you know, that's kind of become a coined phrase, but to really just, quickly break that down it is the old school giving you the shirt off your back not expecting a thing in return and and that's one thing christine embodies in in her business we try and do daily at the veterans ranch um you know when a veteran like you say you know the kids came back to you or a business person comes back to you you know right now the veterans ranch is currently running a 67 percent rate on veterans that come up and say uh, you know, they do have some kind of PTS and come back and say our programs are helping. Um, it's hard enough to get them to admit the PTS to begin with. But man, when they come back and say what you're because I'll be the first to tell you, this is a good Lord and a horse. OK, is, you know, they told us to go forth to prosper. And that's what we're doing. It's in about us as individuals. We're not, you know, breaking our shoulder, patting ourselves on the back. Um, you know, when they come back and say, man, thank you. I, I didn't know I needed this, but this is really doing a great job melts your soul i mean it just it helps so much and and like you said you're on the inside you're doing cartwheels you try and be cool you're like really appreciate it that's man. good Thanks. that's good inside you're going yes 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 yeah. we're doing good in the world oh my goodness i'm so excited and jr you hit it on the head right when we hear about 
and people coming back and going, wow, that made a difference. And, and the Veterans Ranch has that opportunity. And one of the reasons I love being involved in it, like I said, my, my baby, <laughs> you know, my baby's in his 20s, but my baby, you know, he's active duty. And it doesn't mean that, um, how do I even phrase this, right? When you talk about active duty and then there's wartime, there's not wartime, but there's things that happen in the service. And there's times that you get exposed to things that, you know, normal people don't get exposed to, okay? It's different experiences. It's different work schedules. It's it's being exposed to um, accidents that are dangerous. It's losing your friends. It's, it's a whole different kind of lifestyle. And unless you've been on the peripheral edge, whether you, you were in the service, um, your parents were in the service, your sister, your sibling, right? Um, your kids are in the service. You a lot of times don't know what's going on and, and you don't know what's going on inside their head and their heart. And so we need to have a system in place for when they're struggling or when they're getting out that we can help, right? My whole, and I'll tell you, I'm selfish. I want us to have a strong veteran community. So when my son gets out, we can just put out open hands and say, what do you need? What do you need help with, right? Are you struggling with PTS? What is it? Do you need a job? Whatever it is that you need, we're here to support you. And that's what I want to help create in our community. And I'm passionate about that. Yeah, a absolutely. I mean, couldn't agree more, you know, it, it, because the military is good at one thing. Okay. Breaking you mm -hmm. down, building you up into what they want you to be and go get the bad guy, right? Mm -hmm. Raise your right hand, protect the constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, go get that bad guy. So we can sit here and do what we're doing today. Their job is to not say, okay, now here's what you do in the real world when you get out. Cause their right. real world for a minimum four years is that uniform in that branch that they're in. Right. So and and they, you're really what it's talking about uh, is that whole concept of what reality is for those in the service versus reality out of the service. And I think we should probably hit on that in a moment. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Let's, let's take another quick break here. And we're going to talk about one of Christine's other favorite passions. And that is the DFW Veterans Chamber of Commerce. Like she said, she is uh, one of the, the heads and founders of that. And we're going to cover that after the break. But if you want to network with some absolutely amazing people like Christine, like me, and, and you know, and, the, and and I'm in Florida, okay. So this shows you they are. We're talking about the DFW Veterans Chamber of Commerce. They are open to anybody, anywhere. If you are in business and you want to network with some amazing people, whether you're self-employed or you work for somebody else, they have folks from Edward Jones. They have folks in the veteran community. Us from the Veterans Ranch. You name it, they can absolutely help you. And their passion is to grow your business. And as Christine just said, grow the veteran community. So what we want you to do is if you uh, want to, again, network with some amazing people in the heartland of America, go to dfwveteranschamber.org. Again, dfwveteranschamber.org. We'll be right back. It doesn't matter. It's about you. So, yeah. Joining me and uh, welcome to this beautiful Travelers Championship. I only want one accolade from you. So my story is unique. It's amazing. But it's not anything that you guys don't have inside of you. I'm not a hero. I'm not anybody special. I'm just this guy without legs and went out, and I just did it. Stats are way the Democrats, the diplomats, and the bureaucrats. This is probably your first interview down on the ground on your butt and stuff like first that. First time, ever, All baby. Right. Stay with us and the Disability Channel.
All right, again, folks, welcome back. So, yeah, we're talking about passion, passion for veterans, active duty military, because, folks, y'all got to understand that, right? Everybody's veteran today may have been active duty yesterday. You know, we, we think about Vietnam, World War II, Korea, everything else. But, folks, we spent 20 years in Afghanistan. Uh, there's still stuff going on around the world today. So we have to build that strong network community. And, Christine, I want you to touch on what the DFW Veterans Chamber is really bringing into that that I've seen over the last couple of years. And just, I tell you folks, they're an amazing group of people. Speak on that some. I would love to tell you more about the chamber. I absolutely love being involved with the DFW Veterans Chamber. I get to work with Christy Remmel, who's the president of the chamber. She said, all right, I don't want to do this alone. I can't do this alone. Let's do this. And, and so we gathered people and we created the board of directors and we're just bringing more people in and building more of the community. And really the goal for the DFW Veterans Chamber is the idea that if a if a veteran can be financially stable, then everything else in his life can be easier, right? Or her life. Sorry, let me clarify that one because Christy Rummel is definitely a veteran herself. So there's a, a need for that financial stability, whether it's employment or whether it's through business, right? If you want to own a business, then we find a lot of veterans do very well in business ownership or even with um, a franchise business, right? They do really well there also. But the idea is to get that financial stability so then, then you can work on everything else in your life. If you don't have a roof over your head, you don't have food in your belly, and you can't take care of your family, everything else becomes more of a struggle. So our job is to help with this whole employment concept, whether you're going to be self-employed, right, own your own company. There's a lot of veteran organizations out there to support all the different needs. At the same time, we want to do what we do best and we let other people do what they do best. So we just want to continue to partner in the organizations out there so that we can be that resource. So when people come to us and say, hey, we need help with Right. And we've partnered with all sorts of different organizations that provide um, service dogs or wheelchairs or, you know, there's so many different organizations. I don't even know where to start. But the idea is to partner within our community. And thank goodness that it's a very strong veteran community in Texas. So we have a lot of support and we bring in a lot of the different business owners. So. It's not just veteran owned businesses, though, because I am a passionate patriot. I am not a veteran, never served. However, family members obviously have. And so we work with everybody. Right. So if you're a veteran, you want to come. The best thing about a veterans chamber, though, is we actually deal with veteran issues, not just your standard chamber. So we're not going to say we're going to replace your other chamber, but we're going to offer you a little something extra that you don't get at the standard chambers. So we are lots of business owners working together to try and help one another. And um, we do a lot of trainings. Um, every month we do a entrepreneur workshop. And so we invite everybody to join us. And I should probably tell you, we meet online because DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth is kind of a big area. So expecting anybody to drive an hour or two or three hours to get to a meeting would be really difficult. So we always meet online on Friday mornings. So we've been doing that for years now at 730 in the morning. But the last Friday is the entrepreneurial workshop. And we have a great director for that, um, Irving Chung, and he gets the best speakers for us. And sometimes I'll slide one in too. But we do things related to um, sales or maybe it's marketing or maybe it's business strategy. We have so many different guests that come in and just pour into our, our members and help share their knowledge with us. So that free training is the last Friday of the month. We love that. We have our meetings every Friday. And um, we also do in-person stuff, but we kind of have it scattered throughout the DFW. So the idea is to have a local place where you can get together in person and meet with other veterans. So we've got, you know, McKinney Chamber, we've got something over in the Crossroads, we've got something down in Plano. I mean, so we're bouncing all over the place and we're always looking for places to open another meeting that's going to be a local in that area. So if anybody's interested in starting a little city circle in their area, feel free to reach out. We really want to partner with the veterans in the community. We want to partner with the organizations. We want to partner with other businesses. So if this sounds like something you want to get involved in, please reach out. We would love to have a conversation with you. And of course, we're always looking for sponsors because that's how that works, right? If anybody wants to sponsor the chamber. That's right. I mean, you know, folks, it, we all love to say the world doesn't run on peaches, roses, and fluffy bunnies, okay? It runs on it doesn't? Cash. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, I've tried. I, I've yet to find that fluffy bunny come running across. I go get one out of my front yard. It runs away. Um, you know, so I mean, you know, folks, we're going to we're going to kind of wrap this up here today again. Uh, thank you so much to Christine. Please reach out to, to her. Uh, her contact information will be in the show notes. Uh, you know, the DFW Veterans Chamber, Christy Remmel. Um, hell, reach out to me. I'll get you in the right direction. OK, but, um, you know, what we really want to wrap up with here, folks, is to always please like, comment, share, subscribe uh, to all, all of our socials, the disability channel socials, our socials, Christy so or Christine social, sorry. Um, you know, you'll find us everywhere. That's how it, just an easy way of how we can help share and grow each other's networks. But yes, folks, this kind of stuff does run on cash. Uh, so if you like what you're seeing here today and the hard hitting content, relevant content, um, you know, that the Veterans Ranch Show brings to uh, uh, you know, everybody, not just the veteran community, then go to the veteransranch.org, peruse through the entire website. Um, Christine built it. So if you want a website, I'm going to give her one more plug. You want a website, reach out to her. If you like it, if you don't like it, keep your opinions to yourself. If you, <laughs> <laughs> you have a really nice website, JR. I just thought I'd yeah. tell you. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, reach out to her if you want a website built. She does an awesome job and loves your input. But, um, you know, highlight over, get involved and, um, you know, donate to the Veterans Ranch. Give what you can. If it's $1, five, ten, twenty two dollars a month, forty four dollars a month, whatever you can or want to do, whatever's on your heart is what we ask people to do. So we can keep bringing this kind of content out on a, a weekly basis and eventually on a on a daily basis. One last point. We have a brand new thing on the website uh, that we want to talk about at the beginning of the show. You heard us talk about 44 veteran suicides a day. I know it sounds like a made up number, folks. It is confirmed. Uh, the research is out there. You can find it. But we um, have created a virtual wall uh, called Final Operation Final Roll Call. So when you go to the veteransranch.org, you can click on Operation Final Roll Call. That is for everyone who served with honor and distinction, made it home, or just did their time in the service. Maybe they weren't deployed, but they lost their battles with the demons. Folks, that is not who they were. That is not what we want them to be remembered for. Okay. They were brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, you know, athletes, scholars. They were great people and they're still great people. So go on there uh, to Operation Final Roll Call. You can fill out your family members or your, your brother in arms, you know, as long as you have permission from the family to share the information, put a couple pictures up there and put something amazing about that individual up there. We are going to shine a giant floodlight on veteran suicide, folks. This needs to be water cooler talk, daily talk. You need to go, hey, did you hear we're at 44 a day? Because the more we talk about it, the more uh, this problem can start to go away. That's how you shine, a, you know, you shine a light on a shadow and it goes away. So help us uh, financially, if you can, help us spread the word. Again, like and share this content. And uh, if you know someone that unfortunately lost their battle with the demons, help honor them and their family by going to Operation Final Roll Call on the website and putting up their information. Again, Christine, thank you so much uh, for being on the show today. Uh, come back next week, you know, right here on the Disability Channel, where we're going to be bringing you some more great content right here on the Veterans Ranch Show. And as we always say, y'all take care. Giddy up. <laughs>